Hi, Dominique. This is Ann Huffman. I'm going to show you what I was trying to uh, type uh, in that uh, response back to you. But first, I want to say great job on uh, creating that video clip. That just really made my heart happy. I could um, see some of what you were doing when you um, post future clips for me expand your screen so I can see what you're uh, clicking on over here. Um, I, I could sort of tell what it was based on what uh, you were getting uh, uh, when you would click on different things, but I like to see the entire screen because that really helps me out a lot. But again, thank you so much uh, for uh, doing that. I really appreciated it. Now, to um, get back to why um, I'm doing this live uh, for you is because everything you did was absolutely right in your video clip. The only difference is that um, we are not able to save a, um, an image as a PNG. We can only save it as uh, PDF, SVG, JPEG, Let's just see here. If I go to File, Save As, to the hard drive, my only options are, of course, Studio One, the older version of Studio, uh, SVG, I can save it as a PDF or I can save it as a JPEG. We're n well, the PDF is not going to give you a transparent background. The JPEG is, and of course, uh, SVG might be kind of what you want, but I don't think that that will either. Those elements have to be, um, they have to have a transparent background. And all PNGs do, and most GIFs do. Not all, but most of them do. So now that I have that, let me uh, click on um, to add a new uh, document here and show you what I was uh, talking about. So I'm going to go to um, merge in some things and I'll take this shirt here as an example. <clears throat> well, this shirt is a bad example because, um, well, not really because it does have this white background on it. Although it was PNG when I saved it, I think it was. But anyway, um, you did the right thing to bring it in. Got so many windows here, I need to get rid of some of them. Um, and we're, this is the mouse. A new one, I might add. So it may not be the mouse, it might just be um, a Facebook Live and silhouette issue. So we'll try again, and I'll do both of them. <clears throat> and of course, as you know, all we want to get basically are the outer uh, edges on it. So I'm going to do trace and detach, which is exactly what you did. And then you got rid of this white. Now this is... Um, It's not a PNG file, and that's what I hesitated for, but I know that this is what you want when you get ready to open it. But since you cannot save it as a um, PNG or ping file, it's going to have this white background. And I'm going to put it over here off of this white background so that you know that that's not the issue. And I think the next thing that you did was you went to File, save as, save it to your hard drive, and then you selected the format. Well, you just pick the JPEG, which is going to give it that white background all over again because you don't have an option for PNG. So when you save it to this JPEG, uh, that's what it's going to be. I'm going to leave it as, well, I better change it. blue shirt, and I'm saying I want to save it as a JPEG, as an image, 
And all this is asking you is how big do you want this to be? What's the DPI? And unfortunately, I don't think, I think they're all locked in together that you can't um, just change the width without the height changing and the DPI. But you certainly don't want it that big. I think a thousand is probably good enough to get down to that. Um, and that looks like where it's going to be. If you want it bigger, that's where this comes in at. But you're never going to get a quality uh, JPEG file from Silhouette. It just isn't going to happen. So concentrate more on how, uh, what the height and the width that you want. Uh, for this image to be. And the larger it is, the larger in size, the bigger the file size is going to be. So I'm just going to say I've tried to get to a thousand and it wouldn't let me and there's not a lock there. So I'll say save. So now I've saved this as this JPEG uh, file. <laughs> Blue shirt. So now let's see if I can I don't want to confuse myself, so I'm going to open up yet another window. And I'm going to merge that. I'm going to go file. Well, actually, no. I'm going to go ahead and open. And I'm going to, and I don't remember where. Yeah, it did save it in there. So blue shirt. So when I open this back up, don't know where where it went at this point uh, let me go send to the back I'll hold the shift key I don't know where my shirt went because you watched me as I created it so evidently that did not work no I open up blue shirt studio Still should have seen a blue shirt. Don't know why I didn't. So I'm going to say no and go back again and try and open up. This blue shirt. No, the one that I did. Let me go over here and say I want to look at all files. And it should have, oh, okay. Who knows where I saved this at? I thought I saved it in the subfolder, but evidently not. So let me just uh, go blue shirt again and see if maybe, I don't know where I saved it. So let me go back over here, here, and let me pay more attention as to where I actually saved this at. Yeah, I saved it here. Okay, so I'll just do it again. Blue shirt dot JPEG, that's what I saved as before. But the type now is JPEG. Okay. Yes, I want to replace it. I'll go with whatever it says here. Now this, there should be a JPEG file that I can open up uh, in here. And I guess I just have to click here to find it. And for some reason, it's making it this blank thing that we see. And I don't know why is that. I, that's something I have to get with uh, support on. But here's what's happening again. You remove the background, but you could not save it as a PNG. And that's what you're going to uh, need. Because when you save this to the library, you're doing the same thing in essence is you're telling it to save a JPEG, not a, um, 
a ping, a PNG, and that's why it's doing that. So when I was talking about elements before, um, is to start out with a background, and I'll, I guess I'll keep this and get rid of some of these, try and catch support before they close, okay. Um, so I'm gonna go back to merge, and I'm going to create my own uh, little backdrop, and I just grabbed this, I found this on um, Google under um, just free um, images. So I'll put this to there, and I'm going to shrink this down by holding the shift key and grabbing one of those little handles there. Well, I think I am anyway. Okay, I wanna go one more step before I do that, see if that works. In this mouse. I'm going to click on my rounded rectangle and try to get as close to this taco thing as I possibly can and go over here to my fill tool now. <clears throat> I'm gonna use a dropper and line style. Sort of kind of got rid of what was on there. So, but it's still two pieces as you can see. So now I'm just gonna group those together and group. I guess I just need to watch what I'm doing here. So I group these two together and I'm gonna shrink this down now and put this here. I can grab this handle kind of rotate it where I want it to go. Or you may want to go ahead and put whatever, you know, wording or image that you want to put on it. Um, if I wanted to, and that's on the bottom, so I'm going to bring it to the front to put that uh, uh, back here. And then we'll just get some more elements uh, with this. Uh, let's see, merge. Uh, let's say I might want to get these shoes. So I'm going to merge this in, and all I really want are those uh, white shoes there. So I'm going to go to Trace, select Trace Area. Let's hope that I can pick up just these white shoes. Nope. And I can't, and the reason why is it does not see uh, white, uh, so it can't trace it. So let me try and get the glasses. That's not, that's something that's not white. So I'll try to get these glasses <laughs> here, and um, where's my threshold? really just trying to get these glasses around the edge there, but that wooden floor is uh, taken away from it. But anyway, let's see what Trace and Detach does. It's probably going to bring some of this flooring up as well when I move them out. Yeah, I didn't really get my glasses. I should have known better than um, to try with that wooden flooring, but I just wanted to show you how you can grab some of the other uh, elements out uh, out of it. So we'll say that we now have what we want it to be. And I'm going to save as to the hard drive and I'm going to still name it this blue shirt thing but not with the JPG on it. And unless you're going to uh, sell these uh, I don't really need to change it to an SVG. I'm going to leave it as a studio in a, as a studio three. So I'll say okay. And 
now it has that. So I'm going to close out of this and just open it back up again uh, by going back there and should have been able to find it. And it should open it up now and you still have kind of sort of this PNG, but it's not a PNG. But the elements that you've already traced remain in there. So I hope that I have not confused you more. Uh, but if you want to save uh, your elements for a backdrop, you need to save, give it a background, I guess, in order to do it. It, it should have saved it as this, but you chose uh, JPG, uh, JPG, which is a JPEG, and that says you want a white background to it. So you really didn't have to just have your props on, um, on the back of it. You could have just saved it, but not as JPEG. When you save as a JPEG, that's how you kind of sort of want to do it for a potential customer so they don't take your time invested and give it to someone else to complete that project. And so what I would do is always save as a JPEG for them, but um, I would click on it and, and try uh, either put a watermark over it or make it transparent fix it so that whoever they, if they gave it to someone else would have to put in almost as much work as you did and putting it together. So I'm going to click back over now and answer what questions you have before uh, I close this out. So let me go back to our group. Hi, Diana. Okay, well, I thought Dominique was going to be here so I could answer whatever questions, but that's okay, Dominique. Uh, once you watch this, if you have questions, just uh, type them in there and tag me, and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. 